Good evening, Zhang Shu. Wang Shanghao, Dr. Reed. It's good to see you again. What are you doing with your time, now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to help the poor and sick of the neighborhood by handing out medicine. That's very charitable of you. But why do it at night? I've noticed that the most desperate people tend to go out after dark. Hence my presence, to help them when I can. Giving out medicine? How can you afford to do that? I am a rich widow, Dr. Reed. My departed husband left me enough money to last the rest of my life. I can spend some on those who don't have any. Why don't you move to a better neighborhood? I thought about it, I confess. To go back to the same empty home every day still hurts me a lot. Why stay here then? I am a woman of habit, Dr. Reed. And for now, I am happier being useful in a familiar place than I would be anywhere else. How do you feel now that you're back in Whitechapel? I've decided to follow your advice, sir. I won't forget the dead, but my efforts will be for the living. I've no doubt that is a wise and useful attitude in this part of town. To be completely honest with you, I am also doing this for myself. If I'm destined to survive this epidemic, I need my life to have some purpose. Do you still think about your departed husband? Of course I do. I'll never forget my beloved Matthew, but how do I put it? Now I miss him more than I want him back. I know what you mean. And I think it means you're getting better. Maybe death will take me the way it took Matthew. Without warning and without mercy. But until then, I live on. Goodbye for now. Good evening, my dear colleague. Loretta, your miraculous formula wouldn't even cure a common cold, and you know it. The Swamborough's cordial secret ingredient is hope, Doctor. And it's something people around here really need. A placebo effect is real and has benefit. But in your case, you could be murdering your customers, who may die because they are not receiving the necessary medical attention. Medical attention? In Whitechapel? Trust me, my cordial is the best option they have, since it is the only one. You're just a greedy hypocrite. Hypocrite? What about an eminent physician prowling these streets at night? I'm sure you have a personal agenda too, Doctor. Loretta, why do you feel so guilty about your brother? I don't expect him to forgive me. All I can do is make amends for what I did. By making him a crook and a criminal. What if somebody decides to make him pay for your scam? Mason is totally capable of defending himself. 
Just leave us be. We're perfectly fine. I know how guilt feels between a brother and sister. Are you sure you're not trying to ease your own remorse? Mason wants to be useful, can you understand that? And chemistry is his passion, and the Swanborough Cordial gives him a purpose in life. I'd like to see what kind of medicine you're selling. to make some more of that miracle stew. Where is the burner? Ouch, oh, shit! Ow! Oh, shit, no more chlorine. Well, the next batch will be a little less miraculous, that's all. Good evening, Mr. Swanborough. Is it you, Dr. Reed? Please come in. Tell me, how do you see the world these days? What can I do for you, Doctor? So, Mason, you are the creative one in the Swanborough business, are you not? Yes, I am. I am the one who invented and improved the family recipe. And you do it all by yourself? Blind 
and isolated in this laboratory. My eyes may be useless, but my brain is still sharp. Once a chemist, always a chemist. Your sister seems to believe this miracle elixir business is somehow doing you good. Loretta believes that keeping busy is what I need to be happy. And is she wrong? My sister is wrong about almost everything. But as long as she thinks she's in charge, she can be nice. Is your sister using you and your skills for her own profit? I've lost my sight, not my wits. Loretta couldn't manipulate me in a million years. Are you sure about that? You clearly depend on her. Let me be perfectly clear. I came up with the idea of the Swanborough Cordial. Loretta needs me more than I need her. Mason, why would you waste your skill and knowledge on crafting snake oil and fake drugs? But this is my only opportunity to continue practicing my art. By giving false hope to desperate people? They all see me as disabled and useless. I'm sick of their pity. You are nothing but a vengeful, bitter man who takes delight in selling false hope to terrified people. Believe what you want, Dr. Reed. I don't care. I play with the cards fate dealt me, that's all. Goodbye, Mr. Swanborough. I'll leave you now. Wandering in this part of town at night, you're either brave or a fool. Pay for peace of mind. Can't you just look the other way this week, Joe? This district seems to get uglier every year. Good evening, my dear colleague. Is your brother your accomplice, or are you just using him? I would never take advantage of Mason's handicap. He is my brother. He is the person I cherish the most. But if he's not careful, he could make a deadly mistake. You have to be aware of that. He is blind, not stupid. He's always been the brains of the family, and the Swanborough Cordial was his idea in the first place.
Goodbye, Miss Swanborough. Perhaps we'll talk again. Yes, Jonathan? To what do I owe the pleasure? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news indeed. A pleasure as always, Edgar.
Ah! 